Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita 1.0. We are jumping in again and you may notice that my items are a bit different. My coins are a little different and things like that. That's because I did a bit of streaming. I didn't progress any shards on purpose just to make sure. We said we were going to use the blast gun for this episode so I will indeed collect that. But yes, we have a few items. We've unlocked a few things. I unlocked a few bits and bobs over at the um, blueprint store. I'll quickly go and show you what I got. I believe, I can't remember if we already had shop expansion, but I got shop expansion. Um, I think I got giant rooms, and I think I got some of the soul torches as well. There's still a lot more for us to get, so do not fret. But I didn't progress any further on our shards. I want to make sure I save the shards for YouTube. So we're on shard 4 now. Let's go on in, and we'll get ourselves a key. Honestly, our shield is pretty good as well. Um, upgrade one relic at the blacksmith for free. Loot plus 10. Okay. What does loot plus 10% mean? You know what? I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. We'll see what items we've started with here. Let's jump on in. We started with two family items. I tried to make sure we go for a synergy. Um, of course we have all of these as normal. But yes, we've got the snow lad. Familiar that shoots freezing bullets and familiar that shoots a bullet... Um, shoots three bullets at enemies. Nice. Okay, so, some good stuff there. Obviously, we started off with relatively low health here, but we are starting out with the laser gun, which is a really, really cool weapon that now has synergies. It didn't have synergies before. Is that a secret room? Yeah, it didn't have synergies before, and now it does, so... Oh, god damn, yeah, the, the triple shot guy is pretty good. Honestly, these two are pairing nicely together. We've got this here, Shrine of Chaos. Oh, hell yes. Send it. We got... 20% on this. What what stat is that? Because, okay, so we got damage, speed, something, fire rate, range, luck, accuracy. Is that... I don't know what that one is. <laughs> I genuinely have no idea. Yeah, genuinely have no idea which that one is. But we're going to try and go, like, B4 and stuff again. I've been liking that. Uh, we've got ourselves another metro ticket and our health back as well. Beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to try and find secret rooms where I can. Honestly, I'm not amazing at finding them and this weapon isn't amazing for finding them. Maybe, was it range? Because that range seems really good now. And I don't, I genuinely don't know. Me being a stupid. We'll see if we can buy anything. But honestly, I probably won't take anything here. Increase rate of fire and you take damage and HP. Pipette's decent. Familiar. Ooh, do you know what? Let's take that and see if we can get the family synergy here. Wait, what? Oh, we got we got increased. That is shot speed. Um, are you kidding me? It re-rolled my frozen buddy. The chaos shrine re-rolled it into heart magazine. I would have had the family synergy. Oh, that's really depressing. <laughs> Good to know. What, um, I think those chaos ones can do a lot of different things. It's not just that. But yeah, that's still a little bit depressing. We would have had one of the new synergies. Or I, I, th I believe family is one that already existed. Like I think I think this is a secret room here, right? No, I'm really bad at finding secret rooms. Damn, I can't believe that. I don't know what the family one would have done, but that would have been really nice to have. Also, everything is dark now. Okay, there's a secret room there. Nice. We can at least get to the B floor now. Crank that. Yeah, that, that's definitely unfortunate. Why has everything gone dark all of a sudden? We don't have a dark curse, do we? Get ourselves another key here. I'm probably going to crank it pretty hard on my trading HP here. Um... I want to try and get everything we can. A Celestial Weapon could give us even more HP here, which could be great. Pop that. I'm hoping it lights up soon. Ah, <laughs> oh, we got the bloody... We got damage out of it, but I, I do not like this whiff. I am perplexed as to why everything's dark all of a sudden. What did I do wrong? Okay, good. Grab all the soul we can. We got a shop here. Do we want anything from the shop? But like I said, I'm going to try and crank it pretty hard here, so... With the shop expansion. 
Familiar that slowly follows and attacks enemies. That could give us the family synergy. It gave us it. Hell yes. Family. Increased damage for familiars by 15%. Not a great bonus, honestly, but still, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. And also, we are seeing enemies from future floors now. Um, I forgot about that. We can get ourselves a curse here. And this is... Defense again, HP of defeating enemies is, of course, very good. We should probably crank and upgrade that. Um, hide your HP while in combat. I'd rather have Parasite, I'll be honest. I, I don't know how damning that'll end up being, hiding your HP. That's definitely a new curse from what I've seen, at least. So I'm just going to stay away from it for now and go with what I know. Good. We don't have a key left to crank that, unfortunately. I would have liked to have done that. But let's go for the boss. Denial here shouldn't be too bad, especially with our train of familiars. It's kind of funny that if that reroll hadn't happened, we'd have four familiars by now. But still, the familiars are going to do a good job. The triple shot guy seems really good. He also seems to be very, very accurate. Like, I thought the shots would split apart quite heavily. Also, by the way, you can probably notice already that the laser gun is really good because it automatically has piercing. And we've seen before how potent piercing can be. So it's really, really nice to have it early. Go, little ghosty boy. Yeah, the, our familiars having extra damage here is proving to be very valuable, actually. Good. The ghost is having a real hard time catching up with him, though. It's so slow, and it just can't do it. Damn it. I was going for the achievement. There's an achievement if you kill him while he's in that phase. And I lost my flawless due to it. That's a shame. It would have been nice HP to trade away, actually. But it's okay. We got ourselves a half heart there as well. Um, we're going to be trading away some HP anyways. Of course, we'll crank the B floor and try and go there. By the way, I know there's some secrets that I haven't uncovered yet. And I I think I know at least one of them or at least part of one of them. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and do that in the next episode if I can, but I will see. Right, so is there any, anything we want to get rid of here? Honestly, that, because we don't need shot speed at all. Or at least I don't think we do. We have two relic hammers at the minute, so let's go... Fire rate, fire rate, damage. So I think I think this we just crank that doubly. I'd rather have the higher chance to get HP on enemy defeat. It's not a huge chance, but just think over the course of a whole run how many enemies we defeat. We should it should occur quite a few times. Really, that guy hit me, unfortunately. I can't quite catch that dude that's up there. I'm hoping we get some armor as well here. That would be very nice. A little lacking in that in that regards. But yeah, I'm having a good day today. I'm, I'm definitely um, excited to be playing more Revita. I've kind of just woken up and jumped straight on Revita here. Um, which is what I'm going to be doing a lot uh, over the next few days, I think. Um, maybe not so much this weekend, actually, because I've got a friend coming over, which should be really nice. We're going to go out into the city and they're, they're from my hometown and the city I'm in now is like a lot bigger and got a lot more stuff so they're gonna come over and we're gonna go out and do some photography because I'm not I'm not particularly into photography as much but he really is and I am of course welcome to go with and like take pictures and he's gonna go to like a car show and stuff who the hell are you um to fight to because it's coop um I applaud your fine taste interesting I don't know what the hell that guy is but he is now here Okay, good. We're getting a lot of the respawns going on here. But it only spawns little enemies, so I don't really mind. I'm always pretty bad at finding secret rooms on this floor. We do need a lot of keys and HP for this floor. Poison enemies on dash. Unfortunately, both of these are pretty dookie. I don't really need either of them. That's, a, that's kind of a shame. Oh, that was a bad hit. Like I said, I do need HP here, so getting hit like that is real bad. We got whatever the room this is here. But yeah, I think at the minute I'm going to be just playing a lot of Revita. I'm backlogging some episodes here just so I want to upload... Oh shit, I didn't even realize there was a machine here. 
Can I kill it before it disappears? Damn it. Didn't even realize it was there. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm gonna be playing it a lot. I wanna backlog this uh, series because I wanna upload it um, every day for a little bit. Just to see how it does on the channel. I'm hoping people like it. Panic button is pretty interesting here. Does unfortunately um, lower our damage by quite a bit. But we've actually gained enough damage for that to not be too bad. And it gives us a pretty good fire rate boost, as you can clearly see. And an accuracy boost, which is funny considering it's a panic button. You'd think panic would lower accuracy, but apparently not in this case. Oh, you... I'm getting hit some real bad ways right now. It's okay, it's okay. We're getting enough soul to, like, kind of make up for the fact. I'm taking a ton of damage like we just fully healed that heart but that could have been an additional heart that we had to play around with we don't have another key left either so we're probably going to miss out on one of the chests this floor I'm really liking the um, the shard modifier that's making like different enemies appear and stuff God, how am I getting hit by some of these come on now this is simple stuff here Okay, unfortunately, yeah, we are um, we are missing out on that. That that is, it is what it is. Honestly, we already got a chest, so I don't mind too much. We're getting some cursed enemies here. I don't mind cursed enemies though, because we get a bit more soul from them, so they're genuinely pretty useful. Okay, easy room. You never really know if it's going to be a double wave room. We've got our boss coming up already. I've, I've gotten pretty good at this boss now. Uh, I wouldn't say I floss it every time, but I'm getting a lot better. Destroys one relic. That's unfortunate. Uh, we did get Tesla Coil, which I don't know if that'll synergize. Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't think Tesla Coil's really doing anything for us there. Because obviously it lowers our shot speed, which doesn't do anything. And it Teslas our shots together, which doesn't do anything. So... Maybe there's a synergy in, where, in which we can make that work, but right now that's not great for us. So yeah, this guy, it's all about being at the right place at the right time. Our range leaves a bit to be desired here, so we are going to have to get kind of close. But we're killing him reasonably quickly. So I kind of want to be below him, but also don't. The second phase is usually a little bit easier say that and immediately get hit. Um, second phase is usually a little bit easier. Oh my lord, I'm just going to stop speaking. The second phase is usually a lot, lot harder. I'm going to say that and then not get hit for the rest of the fight. Legitimately what happened as well. God damn it. I shouldn't have just said it was really hard. I shouldn't have played with fire. So yeah, I think Tesla Coil is kind of meh for us right now. It's like an anti- it's not an anti-synergy, but I will, um, I will offer it up. Because we don't need it. And we got plus 25% damage. Nice. The offering items to the tree thing there is super useful. I don't know if we discovered that on... Oh, I lost my... I lost my uh, triple fire buddy. So I think... I think my family synergy has gone now. Yeah, it has. That's upsetting. Uh, gain an additional dash. One extra shield at the start of every area. I think that's really good. I also completely forgot and just took... Hide your HP on combat. Well, we took that curse anyways now. I didn't mean to, but we did. As long as we can still heal, I don't really care. We will kill your magnificent creature for you. No problem. But yeah, now, I think with now the damage that we have in fire rate, we should be pretty good to go. I'm going to try and take you out first, actually. You're probably a pain. Okay, another wave here. Okay. Ah, ah, okay, I could easily get hit here. I'm just gonna hold my ground though. Somehow it works. Yeah, how do my HP in combat isn't actually that big of a deal, to be honest. Take care of you. Really should be looking for secret rooms here at least a little bit. Another shield there. Nice. We've got tons of shields already here. Yeah, I'm really bad at looking for secret rooms like anything past the first floor. I'll be honest. 
as you can clearly tell. But yeah, with that HP now, we're pretty much set, I think. What we got here? Um, increase the damage to your bullets the, um, by a lot, but decreases them the longer. I don't know how that would work for us right now. Increase fire rate for each room cleared without taking damage. That's incredible. I'll definitely take that. Up to an effective cap of 50% as well. That sounds kind of nuts. No secret room yet. We can heal up. We're going to see our fire rate slowly rise. It's 27% now. Okay, ice spikes are about. We don't really need to worry about them. We've only got one heart. Let's say no to the shop for now. Just because I tend to normally spend more than one heart at a shop. So it's like, I feel like I'd be getting subpar value. Okay, we do have the champion here. I'm going to take care of everything else first. Just because I feel like they're all going to get in the way. This, the champion version of this guy, it seems like he is kind of tough. He's not spawning any new enemies. He's not teleporting though, which are like the two main champion effects that I'm not. Oh no, he is spawning new enemies. Okay, I lied. He's spawning a lot of new enemies. He's just spawning them directly beneath him. Cookie jar, that's actually pretty good. We got another Metro ticket as well. We found one of these statues. I still don't really know what you do with these. I guess I'll do that. Uh, okay, so it took a piece of armor. I don't know how many of those we need to do, and I don't know if I've missed any, so that might have been pointless. We'll see. Oh, no. I was just about to say our fire rate bonus is finally getting good. And then I get hit. But it's kind of a passive benefit. Like, if we can get it up to 50%, that'd be great. But I doubt, I doubt it's going to happen that often. Good. Take care of you. I'm glad the parasite thing doesn't spawn them immediately. It's, like, got a little bit of a slow down period before it instantly spawns them. Okay, so we've got another one of these statues here. I don't know how many there are, like I said, so I might have missed one. But I, I think because I've got so much armor, especially considering it just gave me armor, I'm going to see if I can fill them up. Like I said, there's a very strong possibility that I missed one early on because I've only filled two of them. And with these things, there's almost always three, right? Almost always. This is a lot of hits. Wow, I'm getting hit. Oh, oh there's a bloody... Dude, that was kind of, that was kind of rude. <laughs> That's kind of rude. And we get sponsor random celestial item. That's really good because our celestial one right now is crap. We get the staff and it gives us a heal. So unless it's at the end of this floor here, I don't think we're going to get to wherever this is trying to take us. So we did get a very, very good um, celestial weapon here. Or at least for me it is. Be careful, because this guy ain't so easy. He can do some tricky attacks. But we got him into second phase already. I'm just spamming my celestial weapon here, hoping for the best. <sighs> always get hit by that. I always move way too far to the left and then dodge the wrong way. It's fine. We don't need we don't need health. <laughs> we definitely do. We're pretty low on health right now. There you go, we got him. Bit of a shame to lose two flawlesses back. Uh, yeah, two flawlesses back to back. Did we flawless the first boss? I don't remember. I don't. No, we didn't. We've we've not got a single flawless yet. That's that's pretty bad. But yeah, as you as I as I blah, 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 as you can see, there isn't a third statue here. So I think we've just thrown thrown away armor for no reason. It might have only been two statues, but normally these things come in threes. Definitely get rid of that. Double on that bad boy. 
fire rate is super good for us. But we might see that we end up going to a different floor here. Oh yeah, we did. Okay, so it is only two shields. This is a completely new floor. I've never been here before. Ah, it's full of water. There's fishy boys that dash at you. Okay. So, oh, oh my god, Parasite, you got me. God damn it. We are going to have to be careful here. There's a lot of unknown and new stuff to us here. I should probably try and find secret rooms on this floor as well. There's rubber ducts. Hell yes. There's also another one of these icy doors in here as well. I'm not exactly sure how we get to that. Hmm. Intriguing. Yeah, I'm not sure how we get in there because it just does this. Hmm. I think we need like a specific like special item. Probably something that we unlock at later shard levels. Or like from completing another secret. We've got some frog boys here. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with my celestial weapon. I'll keep my key for now. Wait, what? Why is it not showing me the items? Is that a bug? I'm just gonna offer one heart and see what I get. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a bug. I don't think that's meant to be like that. <laughs> God, the water physics are so hard to get used to. Honestly though, the, I, I like it. Like they're not, they're, they're hard to get used to, but they're not all that unfamiliar. Damn it, didn't dash. The water, like making, like the dashing in water is, is really weird. There's a piece of armor. Don't know what this this beam of light is for here. Still no secret room, unfortunately. I I don't know how to find second secret room with weapons that pierce. It just nothing looks right. Let's pop into our chest here. Thank you for the damage. Ooh, okay, gun jumping is really effective in water. I just realized that. Hey, we get a rare here as well. Awesome. And we got Spike Ball. Okay, I've, I think I've had Spike Ball before. I, I remember correctly, it's pretty good. Surprised it's not part of any synergy. Got Squid Boy here. There is a frog here. We might be able to get the frog secret. This is the first frog I've seen. It's potential there was another one further back that I didn't see. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Oh, dude. There's some hard enemies here. Oh, my lord. Wow. Okay. Some tricky stuff here. Tricky stuff. I like the way that we can just breathe underwater. These guys are crazy. I, I think they just react when you shoot them, so you've just got to be prepared. I didn't really realize that at first. I thought they just, like, attacked on cue. There's a crab. So, yeah, we're not doing great on HP, and I the, the problem is, as well, I have no idea what boss we're going up against. I don't know what to expect here, so we've got another few of these guys. I think these dudes, we want to kind of wait for them to get in sight and take them on one at a time. Shooting multiple of them just seems like a bad idea. Oh, dude, my familiar triggered the other one. God damn it. Okay, so I, it does look like I missed out on one of the other frogs, unfortunately. Okay, this is all underwater. Okay, so health isn't good. We have a platform here as well, which is interesting. Who are you? This is, okay, so this is depression. This is like an alternate depression. Whoa, okay. This is intriguing. I don't know if I want to be stood here right now. Oh my lord. This is a really cool fight though. I wasn't expecting anything like this. Oh, there you go. And he's swimming around. Okay, this is a cool alt depression. Definitely, I don't know. I, I can't, I don't think it's actually that much harder than normal depression. But then again, we haven't seen his angry mode attacks yet. Angry mode attacks are where things get real.
Okay, I don't know what I don't know what's going on here. Okay, we did get him. Did we flawless that? I don't think we did. If we flawless that and we didn't flawless any other boss, I'll be very surprised. We did. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's stupid. That's stupid. I'm glad we did, but <laughs> that's just silly. Right. So yeah, I don't know what what other secrets lie on this floor, but I like that floor. Okay, let's pop on through. Oh, we got another one of these guys. Increase your speed and bullet range. Uh, unfortunately, need. Neither of those are really my style. I was hoping to trade some HP away upgrading what I already had, but I guess not. We're into the clock tower already, so... That's kind of a speed... That, that feels like a speedier route to get to the end of the game. That swiftness, I'm okay, thanks. Maybe? I don't know. We are on 26 minutes, actually. That's about, that's about on track. Oh, dude, I fell off that ledge then. It's okay, it's okay. We took a lot of damage there, but it was only on armor, and we're, we're, gonna, we're about to get another heart here, so... Go away, Cloud. Okay. Oh, these turrets! Bugger off! It's okay though, we at least got our heart. I will not be playing that mini game. I need my HP. Fiendfolio. The Fiendfolio reference. That's pretty good for range, but I don't think I can trade 3 HP when I have 0 armor. I, I have to say, we're probably not winning this run. Oh, the parasite got me. That guy didn't drop all that much considering I did kill him. Parasite's kind of tricky because you like you kill an enemy then dash through where they were, but then there's a chance another enemy just spawns there. Tricks me out a little bit. But I'm really glad we got an, an armor piece. That that allows us to heal up and hopefully maybe get into the heart container if we uh, play our cards right. Okay, this guy can do some big attacks. Let's be prepared for that. We got a shop here. Oh, I got hit again. Dude, familiars, stop hitting these enemies that shoot when you hit them. They're ruining every... They're ruining everything. Stop. <laughs> I can't deal. I just got hit so much because of that. My armor's gone. I did get some Metro tickets, though. That's still very upsetting. This better give me some good stuff. Okay, armor's good. I I still don't think my health or run is really powerful enough to win. Like, I've not really gotten anything crazy. And obviously, we've got this thing where we gain fire rate for clearing rooms, but it resets on us getting hit. And right now, we're getting hit like every other room. So we still haven't found a way to get those keys yet. I think it's tied to the secret I'm thinking of. I'll, like I said, I'll kind of explain my thought process and go through that in the next episode. I don't know if I'm thinking of it right, but it's based on that blueprint image that we got from defeating the last run that we did on video. I, I think it's from that anyways. Was it last run? It might not have been last run, actually. I don't know. I don't know what this guy does. I'm scared. What the hell hit me then? <laughs> don't know. Honestly, chest? No, I can't. Give me the curse chest. Give me something crazy good. Okay, that's terrible for us. That's just extra soul. It doesn't even give us any soul or hearts or anything. Yeah, I'd say I'd say there's a low chance of us defeating this guy. Especially considering we've basically got none of our fire rate bonus built up. So it's not even like we start the fight with higher fire rate. I definitely say I've gotten better at this fight, but I'm still by no means good at it. I think maybe a celestial weapon will help here. 
but I don't know to what degree. Yeah, there you go. That, that attack hits me quite a lot. That's fine. This one's chill. That one, like I said, hits me quite a lot. So that's... I'm fine getting hit by that because I know that I get hit by that. But we are already... Already taking a few hits. I don't know what my current health is as well, which is not great. Oh, dude. The, the bloody fingers. I realise that it's very rhythmic and quite easy to follow. But my brain does not compute. Honestly, whenever he does that attack, just do what I did there and get the hell away from him. That seems to work out way better. So stand far back. Yeah, that works out way better for me. Okay, you're dead. Second phase, the First phase is pretty easy. I can normally do that only taking a few hits. But second phase with low damage, low range... I won't say this is low damage, but it's definitely low range. Yeah, it's way harder. Because he just... He telegraphs his attacks very quickly. You, you need to be very vigilant to spot what he's about to do. And then this Sawblade attack just messes me up. I wish I had more familiars helping me out here. The saw blades, they're brutal. Also, this attack is also brutal, dude. The saw blades, stop, stop, stop. I've like, look at my damage. I've not even got him to half yet. We've been firing at him for like a, a minute straight. Honestly, this attack is horrible. That hit me, god damn it. I'm pretty sure I'm like one or two hits off death at this point. Okay, he's into second half. But like I said, I think I've only got like two hits left at this point. I don't know why I always jump for that attack, but it just feels more natural. Ah, the saw blades. Gotta stop with that, dude. The bomb attack's probably my favorite one. Just because it's he, he has like a solid few seconds where you can just kind of chill in the middle of the screen. Or I can just get hit again. I don't know how close I am at the minute. I feel like I'm pretty close to death. Like, pretty close. <laughs> Accidentally uh, ran right into him. We did pretty well there, the unfortunate loss, but we went to a new floor. We experienced some new stuff. We traded HP away. I think that's absolutely fine. Um, we'll see what else we can afford here. Let's um, actually, let's go to the flower guy first and see if we got anything new there. We went to a whole new floor, so I imagine we do. Thank you. The Joker card. And the Silver Bell. And then what do you have to offer? We got ourselves... Oh, we got a new Soul Torch. Okay, so... For eight... We can get one of these chests, actually. Let's go with the... Um... Let's go with the silver chest for now. That seems pretty good. We'll go with, like, the vending machine soon. I need to get the, um, that one there to buy some new hats, actually. I'm not that big into hats and games and stuff, so it's not a big deal to me, but I would like to get it eventually. Okay. So, I think we'll go with Joker card, because that sounds interesting. And then, Humble, ooh. No, let's, let's go with Small Moon. Interesting. We'll keep those for the next episode. We'll also switch up our weapon as well here. Let's go with the SMG this time. Try that out. We'll stop by, ready for our next run. 
Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been a fun one. I'll see you guys in the next one.